Well, tonight, a dilemma over a local youth football team striking up some serious controversy. Several upset parents reached out to NBC 15 News for help, saying the Mobile Youth Football Conference is unfairly disqualifying their kids from playing in their playoffs. And NBC 15's Nicole Fierro took action, calling on the league for answers. She joins us now with what she found out. Nicole? Greg and Kim, it's a team of four year old children feeling the brunt of this dispute now unable to play in their playoff game and local parents, coaches and board members say they won't stand for it. Y'all know boo will run hard. Don't, don't yeah, tell you boo down. Say hike. Go boo. This is the Westmobile Buccaneers, a football team of fierce four year olds who have no idea what they're now up against. I'm trying so hard not to cry. I'm trying so hard not to cry because it hurts me so bad to see those kids out there and they they have no idea what's going on and they, how hard we are fighting to help and get this team back to where we belong. The Buccaneer boys want a spot in the playoffs this weekend, but parents tell me it's now being ripped away because of a major dispute all sparked over a parent custody issue. The board that leads our conference, the Mobility Football Conference, they claim we have an illegal four year old kid that is playing in Birmingham as well. We have asked for proof. They have suspended our team from postseason play. The rules state that an ineligible player's team will forfeit any game in that an eligible player participates in. Parents and the park president, D. Manuel, say that's only three games for their team, so they should still be able to make playoffs under the rules. We, we've extended the Olive Branch several times to try to put this off and, and be adults and, and just give us what everybody's been given in the past. And, they choose to rule by fear and intimidation, and I'm just not the guy to back down from that. They mess with the wrong book family, and that we coming from. Parents say the conference denied their appeals, so now they're taking legal action to stop the game and get justice for their boys. They're four years old. Why do you care? Why is this a big deal? It's a big deal because we teach our kids to follow the rules in football, but if the adults don't follow the rules, then how do we expect them to? I reached out to the conference president. I called. His voicemail was full, so I texted and emailed him as well, but I didn't get a response. However, as you can see in this text message, a conference board member did tell park president Manuel that if he met with us on the grounds of the park while being suspended, the whole league would see repercussions. As soon as we hear back from the league, we'll be sure to share their side of the story. In the newsroom, Nicole Fierro, NBC 15 News.